it's Miss Bree, the Dark Diva, and today the Whiskey Diva. And we're doing um, something now for uh, Kentucky Derby, which is Saturday. Uh, less than a week away now. Uh, as I said, we'll be doing some bourbon drinks other than mint juleps, okay? Ah, excuse me. Nose itches. Um, so what I've done, uh, this is something interesting. We, we, we've got a, an entry into the Kentucky Derby from the north. Yes. Um, as I, as you've seen, I've done a tasting with uh, Nor'easter bourbon, which is uh, made by Triple Eight Distilling on Nantucket. So what I've done is made a drink with this, and it's called uh, the Galloping Nor'easter Rose. Okay, it's the run for the roses. Um, you know, that comes at the end. So that's part of the. the ah, excuse me, the, the, the stitch is annoying. Uh, so what I did was we made a drink for it. Now this is made with bourbon. Nor'easter bourbon. Got a shot and a half of that. Got a couple of dashes of Peixos, um, bitters. A shot of Wild Moon Rose Liqueur. And Wild Moon is craft distilled uh, in Hartford, just down the road from where I live here in Connecticut. Now, this is the only one that's not Connecticut. It's uh, Cointreau. It's French. And I gotta love those French. Orange Liqueur. And then Wild Moon, and we have like a half a shot of the Cointreau. And then we have a shot of Wild Moon Lime Liqueur. Again, made by Hartford Flavor Company down the road in Hartford. So it's mostly all New England, except for the, the, the bit of the orange and, uh, liqueur and the Peixos. Yeah, we don't have a lot of oranges in New England. But for the basic part of it, uh, it's all there. This is the Galloping Nor'easter Rose. And um, we think that's a perfect name for a horse, the Nor'easter Rose. How about that? Galloping, obviously. Sorry, if I'm, if I'm explaining too much, it's just one of those things. I was doing margaritas earlier, so God forbid. Mm. It's kind of nice. It's, it's got a bright... Um, it's got a couple of different flavor things going on. You get the bourbon, but you get um, all of the other stuff in, which makes it very intriguing. Very interesting to drink. Much like a thoroughbred. It has to be appreciated. So, um, this is the first one of our uh, Derby drinks, um, and again, this is the Galloping Nor'easter Rose uh, for your Derby Day celebration. So, um, if you want the actual recipe written down and you don't feel like writing it down from the video, just drop me a line at MissBree at thedarkdeeperrules.com, and for now, recipes are free. Um, that's not a long-term thing, but, you know, grab it while you can, because we'll be charging for it later. So, um... Join us. And uh, so on Derby Day, as always, hope your horse comes in. Cheers.